Shalom. All praise goes to Yahweh Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Quidash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of the great millstone, the men who taught me this truth. Also, peace and blessings to my fellow yokesmen, the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Also to the believers, the brothers, and the sisters that continue to believe upon the names Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shai, and all fear shall one. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. I'm going to jump right into it. Lamentation chapter 4 and verse 21. And it reads, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. And who is the daughter of Edom? All right, a daughter is someone that comes after you. So the daughter of Edom, all right, would be the Edomites because they are the children of Esau. Esau being the man, Edom being the land, and the Edomites being the children of Esau, which are the so-called modern-day white people, all right? It says, Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee, meaning the dregs of slavery, all right? And that's real reparations. That's real justice. And these are the times that we are living in. We having the greatest hope upon the planet. This is something that we being the hopeful elect is hoping in. All right, let's read it again. Lamentation 4 and 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. So this is the time that you Edomites should be rejoicing. All right, you should be maxing out your credit card, going on cruises. All right, doing Jake as rough as you can do them. All right, because it's about to be over. It says that dwelleth in the land of Uz, the cup, all right, the dregs of slavery also shall pass through unto thee. All right, because the curses are going to leave us. All right, but the curses got to go somewhere. Deuteronomy chapter 30. And verse 7 tells us, and the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad, thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemies. All right, and our number one enemy is Esau. All right, it says, and on them that hate thee, who hate us the most? Esau, all right, because we have the birthright and Esau can't get that birthright back. All right, the scripture speaks about, I will put enmity between uh, them and thy seed, roughly paraphrasing. So this is why Esau hates us, all right? This is why Esau hates us the most. It says, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee, and who has persecuted us even unto this day, Esau. That's why the scripture tells us in the book of Obadiah, chapter 1, in verse 10, it says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, and who is the brother of Jacob? Esau. Shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. And these are the times that we are living in. All right, that's why these are some marvelous times for the Israelites, mainly the elect, all right? Because we have the hope that the Most High is going to send you Shai, all right, and bring judgment upon those that hate us, those that are still slaying us to this day, that violent man, the brother of Jacob, which is Esau, and his children are the Edomites. So let's go back to Lamentation 4 and 21, rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom, that dwelleth in the land of Uz. The cup also shall pass through unto thee. So we know what that cup is, the dregs of slavery. Thou shalt be drunken, all right, and shall make thyself naked. That's why shame shall cover thee, all right? When you unclothe someone, that shows their nakedness. And Esau has been unclothed, all right? Meaning that power of secrecy has been lifted due to the light that have sprung up here in these times of gross darkness, all right? And it's making Esau bear, pursuant to the book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter. Verse 22, it says, the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished. And that's to, it's like the scripture says, O daughter of Zion, which are you Israelites, all right? It says, he will no more carry thee away into captivity. 
meaning this is our last captivity here in America. And it's not going to happen anymore. All right. It says he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. And that's to these Edomites. All right. He will discover thy sins. And see that? That light is discovering their sins. All of the things that they've done going all the way back to the garden, all right, with their forefather Cain. If you can receive it, Cain came back in the reincarnation as Esau, all right? And our forefather, righteous Abel, came back in the reincarnation as who? Jacob, all right? And that perpetual hatred has been fueled all the way since the garden all the way up until now. But now we know who the enemy is because his sins are being discovered by the light. Okay? That's why shame is covering him. And now he's going to get uh, wrong put upon his head for the wrong that he have done unto us. Okay? The scripture tells us in the book of Colossians, chapter 3, verse 25, it says, But he that doeth wrong, and who have done the most wrong, Esau, from the garden all the way up until right now. All right? But he have, but he that doeth wrong shall receive for the wrong which he have done, and there is no respect of person. That's why the book of Galatians, chapter 6, and verse 7 tells us, it says, be not deceived. So we can't be swayed off of the path of the truth. The Most High is not mocked. You can't mock at the words of the Most High. That's why Isaiah 55 and 11 says, The words of the Most High shall not return unto him void. And void meaning empty. It says, For whatsoever a man soweth. So Esau hath planted nothing but rape, robbery, murder, and bloodshed upon the children of Israel mainly. It says, For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. So this is what Esau Edom is about to reap. All right? Now, Ezekiel 35 explains that. Ezekiel 35 and 14 tells us, it says, Thus saith the Lord power, when the whole earth rejoices, I will make thee desolate. Verse 15, As thou didst rejoice at the inheritance of the house of Israel, because it was desolate, okay, so will I do unto thee. See that? We just read it. Colossians 3 and 25, Galatians 6 and 7. It says, so will I do unto thee. So these are the words, all right, of our powers, which shall not return unto them void. It says, so will I do unto thee. Thou shalt be desolate, O Mount Seir, see that? And all I do me, even all of it, and they shall know that I am the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. And these are the times that we're coming into. Where number one, Esau, Edom, all the way down to two-thirds of our people are going to know the Lord as we know the Lord and know his, his terrible powers because they're going to be put upon them just like they was put upon us. See that? The Most High is going to bring those dregs upon Esau, Edom. That's why the scripture tells us in Psalms 37, And I'm going to start at verse 1. It says, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Fret meaning to become boiling hot. Now, we burn with righteous anger, all right? And that's going to happen because we understand the things that Esau Edom has done unto us, and we want these things to be done unto them. And we are uh, sighing and crying uh, for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. But once you understand a lot of things, that roots out that boiling anger. So that's why the scripture says, fret not thyself because of evildoers. Number one, Esau, neither be thou envious against the workers of iniquity, the workers upon sin upon sin. Verse two, for they, and this is why, for they shall soon be cut down like the grass and wither as the green herb. See that? And that's the faith that we have. Jumping down to... Verse, verse 7, it says, rest in the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So by us having that understanding, this somewhat puts us at rest. See that? We have comfort in these times. It says, rest in the Lord. Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. 
and wait patiently for him. See that? So suffer. And that's what we're doing. We're suffering these times every day, waiting upon the Most High to send you how we shy. All right? To what? Take down this man. Okay? But it's going to be a righteous thing for the Most High to do that. That's why the book of 2 Thessalonians, chapter 1, And verse 6 tells us, sin, it is a righteous thing with the Most High to recompense, to pay back tribulation to them that trouble you. Number one, Esau, Edom. They're still troubling us and the rest of the world, even unto this day. So let's go back. Psalms 37. And verse 7, rest in the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, and wait patiently for him. Fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way. See that? Because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. See what I'm saying? Who's going to bring that wicked device to pass? And we all know what that wicked device is. All right? The M-O-T-B. But the scripture tells us, once again, Psalms 37 and 7, rest in the Lord. So we have rest in the Lord through this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. And wait patiently for him. All right? So since we have the, the faith of the, of the saints, we're going to... Uh, rest and we're going to wait patiently in the Lord for the most high to send you how we try to take this man down and we're not going to do anything colonel all right we're going to be spiritual which is just use the sword which is the word to chop this man down to expose this man so it says rest in the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai and wait patiently for him so wait patiently for the Lord to send you how we shy. fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way which is Esau they're not in trouble like other men. We see Esau eat them prospering every day, man. All right? They live long, look, luxurious lives. See that? And Jake dying at the age of 15. That's because the curses are on us, but we are living in the times where the Most High is going to take these curses up off of us. And it's all of this is going to be upon Esau. All right? But we just got to wait patiently for it. It says, fret not thyself because of him who prospereth in his way because of the man who bringeth wicked devices to pass. See that? It says, cease from anger and forsake wrath. Fret not thyself in any wise to do evil. So we must just wait upon the Most High to send you how we shot. All right? And just continue to pray for an increase of patience or increase of endurance. All right? Because our time to serve this slavery here in America is up. And Esau, Edom, all right, is finna get uh, what he have um, sown. He's going to reap what he have sown. All right. Let's go back to the prophecy in Genesis. Um, Genesis 25. And in 23, it says, And the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shah, said unto her, All right, the her is Rebekah, two nations are in thy womb, and two manner of people shall be separated from thy vows. All right, two people, all right, was in the vows of Rebekah, which is Jacob and Esau. All right, it says, and the one people shall be stronger than the other people. And this is the point. And the elder, which is Esau, shall serve the younger, which is Jacob. And these are the times that we're coming into. See that? All of these things that we have been going through from the beginning is going to be upon Esau. And it's going to be double upon Esau. Revelation 13, 9 and 10. It says, if any man have an ear, let him hear. So if any man can understand this, understand it. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. That's to you devils. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Colossians 3 and 25, Galatians 6 and 7. All right. Here is the patience. This is what we have. And the faith of the saints. All right. Call halal, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha, Raka, Kwadash. I want to give double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and the elders of the great millstone. Peace and blessings to the hopefully elect DTA.